enjoy. I just finished storing the new physics driver. Now I'll just play some sif... Why is that not selected? Well, I'll just click on that, press restart, and... Why is it not selected? Why are you not working? ADF physics processor users should use and install older physics system software such as Have you ever felt this way? Ever wondered how you can play all your favorite physics games without having to play musical chairs with your drivers? Fear not, there is a solution. In this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process and how to restore PPU support with the latest NVIDIA drivers. Now before I start, for those of you who've seen my previous video on the AGA physics card, I know I mentioned that you should avoid updating to the latest NVIDIA drivers if you owned a physics card. Reason for that being is after the 9091112 driver, PPU support was dropped entirely. But if you follow this tutorial correctly, you shouldn't need to worry about those problems. Now before you start, you need four things. One, AGA physics card. An AGIA physics driver, doesn't matter which one as long as it's AGIA. An NVIDIA driver, particularly the 80904 physics driver, and one of the latest NVIDIA drivers. Now the last two you can find on NVIDIA's website, but for the AGIA driver you can find with a simple Google search. And that's it, you don't need to take any courses in C++ or any other programming language, just follow these instructions and you'll be gaming with your PPU in no time. Now, in case you haven't already, the first thing you need to do is uninstall your current physics drivers. After uninstalling, now go ahead and install the AGIA physics driver. After installing the AGIA driver, now go to C, Program Files, AGIA Technologies. Now copy the bin folder within AGIA Technologies. Now head to a separate location, say on a separate hard drive, and create a new folder and call it AGIA. After you created the new folder, go ahead and paste the bin file within that AGIA folder. Now that you've done that, install the NVIDIA 90904 driver. After installing, return to C, Program Files, AGIA Technologies. Copy everything under the AGIA Technologies folder. Then paste it in the new AGIA folder you've created. Now, go to C, Windows, System32, or C Windows SysWow64 if you're using a 64-bit Windows operating system. Under SysWow64, find and copy the AGIA folder, then return to the AGIA folder you created and create a new folder and call it Windows. Enter this new Windows folder, then create a new folder and call it SysWow64. Next, enter this new folder you created, and then paste the AGIA folder you copied previously. Next, return to C, Windows, SysWow64, and then scroll down to find files containing the word physics. Copy all files containing the word physics, and then paste them into the SysWow64 folder you created. Now, return to C, Windows, and enter the System32 folder. Now repeat the same process by scrolling down and looking for files containing the word physics. Copy all these files, then return to the Windows folder you created, create a new folder, and rename it System32. Next, enter that folder and paste the files you just copied. Now return to C, Windows, System32 and look for the Drivers folder. Inside the Drivers folder, look for a file containing the word Physics, copy this file, then return to AGIA System32, and create a new folder and rename it Drivers. Next, enter this new folder and paste the file you just copied. Now it is time to install your latest NVIDIA drivers. 
though the driver I'm currently installing right now is not the latest, there's a very specific reason why I'm installing this one rather than the latest one, which I'll explain in a moment. So you may notice if the physics control panel still exists at this point, that if you click on the settings tab and click on AGF physics, you'll notice you'll get an error message if you attempt to reset the card. This is because the AGF physics card is now unsupported in this driver. But with the files you just copied, you are now able to restore support. And now, go to C, Program Files, NVIDIA Corporation, Physics, and Engine. Copy all the files, then create a new folder and call it Backup. You'll need to keep these files just in case you decide to make any changes later, which I'll explain in a moment. Now enter this folder and paste all the files. Now return to the AGIA folder you created and copy all files spare for the Windows folder. Now return to C, Program Files, NVIDIA Corporation, Physics, and Engine and paste these files you saved earlier. And be sure to overwrite when prompted to. Now return to C, Windows, locate the System32 folder, enter the Windows folder you constructed earlier, copy both folders, and then drag them into C, Windows. And be sure to overwrite when prompted to. Now at this point you are officially done, but to verify if everything's working properly, go to the Physics Control Panel, enter the Settings tab, click on AGF Physics, and click on Reset Physics Card. If it resets properly, your physics card is now supported by the latest NVIDIA drivers. And here's the beautiful part about this modification. Depending on what game you play, the appropriate hardware will always engage, meaning PPU-based games will always be accelerated by your PPU, and GPU-based games will always be accelerated by your GPU. And if that doesn't happen, or if you have one type of hardware accelerating the wrong type of game, you can fix that issue quite easily. So let's say you have a game that is being accelerated by your PPU, but that game is really made for GPU acceleration. First, you need to observe what engine that game uses by finding the location of the game, then right-click on any DLL files located in the bin folder, starting with the letters NX or the word Physics. View the file's properties, and then go under the Details tab. Here, you'll see in a file or product version the engine this game uses. So with that in mind, all you need to do is to locate that same engine you saved in the backup folder you made, copy it, and replace it in the engine folder. Simply what you're doing here is replacing an old AGIA engine with a new NVIDIA engine, so that NVIDIA hardware will engage with games using that engine. And if you ever wish to return to PPU acceleration, Simply repeat the same process, but by copying the engine out of the AGIA folder you made earlier, and then pasting it in the engine folder. And if there are any new physics updates you wish to install, you can do so freely without having to repeat the entire process. The only issues you may find with updating is the installation overriding your preferred engines, but as I showed you earlier, it's a relatively easy fix. Thanks for watching, I hope this tutorial was helpful to all you gamers out there. If you have a question or something seems unclear to you, feel free to ask in the comment section below, as well as viewing the full written tutorial at physicsinfo.com, as well as multiple other forums elsewhere. Links to these posts can be found in the description below. Also be sure to subscribe, as in the following weeks I'll be featuring more tutorials, such as how to add more demos to the physics control panel, and how to find the right games for your PPU. Also do some other animations and stuff like that if you wish to check that out. Ooh, if you wish to hit me up directly, you can follow me on my Twitter and tweet me or tweety things or whatever you hip kids do these days. So until next time, happy gaming.